I think the key thing has been the revelation, just as the Ange ball, just unleashing James Madison to just be everywhere and cause well, problems. He's been... Now, shouldn't go overboard on a Tottenham Hotspur game against Burnley. But, you know, Burnley did go up in this game. No, but it's about then, it's about second, doing what you have to do. It's about doing what you have to do, man. It, 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 anything above that is a plus. So if if Burnley would have beaten Tottenham 3-0, then, then it would have been all hell been loose. <laughs> so it's about doing what you have to do. I didn't like – some things defensively need to be – uh, oh yeah, you're always. They're always gonna have. They're always gonna have problems defensively. But you trust. Just, but you trust. Defending, they're defending with two. They're defending with two. Right. They don't care. Right. But it's good. It's good play. for. So like you would look at Postecoglou and you would think, man, this is about to be another Mourinho, another uh, a Simeone no, team. But no, no, no he's no, actually no, 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 he's no, actually no, doing his thing, and uh, put this team back on top you can say a, f a fun team a team to watch another right. one of my sons because he came he came from brighton eve basuma just making that whole team work uh him and papa sar they're just doing all the work in the engine room in front of that back four that's not really a back four in front of that box two with the two defenders and the two uh holding midfielders they holding everything up when they need to get the ball they get it and they just give it to james madison and they're off uh, you doggy is you dope. I love him. Uh, a lot of things for Spurs are going really, really well. Right. I think Van de Ven, the hardest thing to find in football, a really good young center back. They found that's a good, him. That's a good fast. signing. He's a little bit, he's a little bit wooden, but he's big and he can run. That was uh, a good so, signing. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, this is the thing that I talk about with Spurs fans. They kill Levy like he's the worst. But I'm like, you know what? Be careful what you wish for. Because the one thing we know about Levy is even though he's a pain in the ass and he can be a pain in the neck, he does love the club and he does want Spurs to win. <laughs> right. He just does it on the cheap and he can and he and he haggles and he fights and he drives everyone crazy. But he the best period in Spurs history, aside from Nicholson in the fifth in the sixties, has been this ownership group. They have not finished out of the top ten in twenty years. That's under Levy. That's really good. And they went to a Champions League final. They've had great players. So as much as Levy can be annoying and he's not, he doesn't kick Spurs on to win the title, you're there. You're close. And maybe that's the annoying part. But be careful what you wish for. You might end up like Manchester United, the worst run club in all the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we end this show. <laughs> of course, we start with Laurent killing United and we end it the same way. <laughs> Nothing changed. So no big deal at all. <laughs> no big Listen, deal at all. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. <laughs>